Hello learners, I'm Cynthia Mwa, your Integrated Science Teacher Presenter. Today, our topic is Ways of Conserving Water. Ways of Conserving Water. Now, before we start today's lesson, let us look at our homework on the other time. Yes, homework. Homework. Homework number one. Mention three materials that contain carbon. Mention three materials that contain carbon. One, we have charcoal. Charcoal. We have graphite. Graphite. And then wood. So the three materials that contain carbon are charcoal, graphite, and wood. Question number two. State three uses of materials that contain carbon. State three uses of materials that contain carbon. Now, charcoal is used as a source of heat for cooking in homes. Two, carbon is present in fuels like petrol and diesel used to move vehicles good it is used in diamond it is found in diamond used for making jewelry it is found in diamonds used for making jewelry good now today's topic ways of conserving water ways of conserving water now before we start today's lesson let us look at our our objectives let us look at our lesson objectives and it reads at the end of the lesson you will be able to one describe three qualities of good drinking water describe three qualities of good drinking water two state three uses of water state three uses of water and three mention three ways of conserving water mention three ways of conserving water so these are our lesson objectives describe three qualities of good drinking water state three uses of water then mention three ways of conserving water so let's start our lesson introduction ways of conserving water ways of conserving water that is our topic now water is important to all living things water is important to all living things both plants and animals we need water so that we can grow and grow well so we use water every day we use water every day in our various homes we always use water three so we need to take good care of water bodies around us so because of the importance of water to living things because we use water every day, so we need to take good care of water bodies around us. Now we are coming to look at qualities of good drinking water. Qualities of good drinking water. And the first one is it must be tasteless. Now the water that we drink must be tasteless. What do we mean by tasteless? Tasteless means when we drink, we shouldn't taste anything, whether salty, sour, or sweet. Now, water should be tasteless. Yes, that is one of the good drinking water, the qualities of good drinking water. And the second one is it must be odorless. It must be odorless. Now, odorless means... There should be no scent in the water that we drink. So the water that we drink, good drinking water, should be, must be odorless. 
it must be odorless. Now the third one, it must be colorless. It must be colorless. Now the water that we drink, there shouldn't be any color. Now look at the water that the boy is drinking. Let's look at the boy. Let's look at the water. Now it's clean. And it is colorless. There's no water. And let us look at the water that the, the woman is drinking. This one has color. So the water that we drink should be colorless. It should be colorless. The third one, it must be free from harmful particles. It must be free from harmful particles. So let's look at the water on our screen. Look at this one. There is nothing in it. There is no particle in it. And let us look at this one too. We have particles in it. This shouldn't be so. Now the water that we drink. Now good drinking water should be free from harmful particles. It must be free from harmful particles. Now we are coming to look at uses of water. Uses of water. In our various homes, we use water every day. Now what do we use water for? What do we use it for? Now let's start. The first one on our screen, we drink water every day. We drink water every day. So you look at the boy drinking water. And this water is clean. It is very, very clean. The next one is we wash our hands with water. We wash our hands with water. So you look at the boy washing the hands under the tap with water. So we wash our hands with water. Now we bath with water every day. We bath with water every day so you look at the boy bathing now we have to bath two times a day in the morning and in the evening in the morning and in the evening so make sure you bath two times a day now the next one is we brush our feet with water so look at the boy using water to brush his teeth. So one of the uses of water is using water to brush our teeth. We use water to brush our teeth. Good. We wash our clothes with water. We wash our clothes with water. So look at the woman or the girl washing using water. And the water that you use to wash your clothes should be clean. Yes, it should be colorless. It should be odorless. Yes, so that you, your body will also be clean. Good. So we wash our clothes with water. We wash plates with water. So look at the girl washing plates. We use clean water to wash our plates. So we wash plates wet water now another one let's look at what is it boiling egg boiling of egg so we cook with water we cook with water it's not only egg any food that we cook we use water preparing soup boiling rice and others we use water to cook so we cook with water we use water for cleaning we use water for cleaning look at the girl scrubbing the floor with water and the boy too flushing or cleaning the toilet with water we can also use it to do so many things cleaning the house louvers everything in the house so we use water for cleaning we use water for cleaning now good now let's go to the next subtopic ways of making water safe for use 
ways of making water safe for use. Now, if you have water and it's not safe, we are coming to learn how to make the water safe so that you can use it. So, ways of making water safe for use. Now, the first one, by sedimentation. By sedimentation. A process in which heavier particles of solids in a liquid, that is water, settles down. So if you have water which is not safe, you can put it down for the particles to settle. This is what we call sedimentation. Sedimentation. So you can make your water safe by sedimentation. So look on our screen. Yes, we have water. This water you can put it there for some time and the, all the particles will settle. So look at this one and this one too. Yes, the particles will settle and you can continue with other methods to get clean water. The next one is by boiling. By boiling. So if you have water which is not safe you can boil and the water will be safe all the gems in it will die because of the heat and you will get clean water and you will use it the next one is by filtration so after boiling you can filter it by using filter paper so let's look at the filter paper on our screen this is filter paper you can also use clean cloth you can also use clean cloth to filter your water so making water safe one of the ways of making water safe is by filtration filtration the next one is by the addition of iodine tablet to purify the water by the addition of iodine tablet to purify the water so this is the iodine tablets and sometimes some people also use what we call aqua tab aqua tab that is water tablet water tablets when you put it in the water it will kill all the gems in the water and you get clean water look at the video on our screen now the water at first it was dirty let's look at it let's look at it again the water it was dirty and after putting in the iodine tablets you can also put in aqua tap and the water will become clean and then you can use it so look at the color of the water by putting in the iodine tablets look at what will happen to the water look at it you look at it very very well yes look at it mm -hmm. by shaking it look at you have got clean water clean water so by the addition of iodine tablet to purify water the next one is using alum using alum alum makes suspended particles in the water get easily settled to make it clean so let's look at the video on our screen this is the alum when you put it in the water look at what has happened after one hour look at what has happened all the dirt are at the bottom of the container let's look at it uh -huh. So, using alum. Alum makes suspended particles in the water get easily settled to make it clean. The next one is using chlorine kills bacteria. Using chlorine kills bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms that cause diseases. So, when you put the chlorine in the water, it will kill all the gems. So if you don't boil it, you can put chlorine in the water. And all the gems in the water 
will be killed and you can use it okay let's continue now activity activities that lead to water wastage things that we do that waste our water we are coming to look at it so that we'll be careful and we will stop doing them so let's continue using too much water to wash dishes children you do it when you have tap in your kitchen you open the tap for the water to flow meanwhile you are not using the water this waste water look at the woman washing the dish look at it the water the tap is on you are wasting water so let's continue leaving the tap on when washing your hands oh most children they do it when they are washing their hands they first open the tap and then they apply the soap on the hand and the tap will be flowing now this activity waste water it wastes water the next one is leaving the tap on when brushing your teeth leaving the tap on when brushing your teeth so when you are brushing your teeth you leave the tap on it will waste water this activity wastes water now not repairing broken down or leaking pipes that carry water into homes so the main one when it is leaking you can report so that they come and repair we shouldn't ignore it don't say it's not in your house so you will pass by reports and they will come and repair so if you do this you waste water if you don't rep uh, report you waste water so this activity waste water the next one is every tissue you flush away also flushes away five to seven gallons of water every tissue you flush away also flushes away five to seven gallons of water so when you put the tissue in the toilet the water closets the seats when you put it in it you waste five to seven gallons of water so this activity cause wastage of water it causes wastage of water good the next one is watering plants in afternoon leads to an increase in evaporation now look at the hot weather when you water the water will evaporate the plants will not be able to absorb the water and it will lead to water wastage you waste the water good ways of conserving water ways of conserving water so all that we have talked about what are the alternatives what are the things that we will do so that we stop wasting water we are coming to look at it the first one says don't leave the tap running before rinsing dishes you can rinse dishes in a pan of water so you find a pan fetch small amount of water and then you clean your dishes in it then after you throw it away so don't leave the water running before rinsing dishes you can rinse dishes in a pan of water the next one is turn off taps when brushing your teeth so when you are brushing your teeth turn the tap off then after brushing then open it so you will conserve water you will conserve water so you can look at the girl turning off the tap good the next one is do not leave the water running while cleaning your hands with soap so let's look at the woman let's look at it 
what is on our screen. Yes, this is what you have to do. You have to apply the soap to the part that you want to clean on your hands. Then when you finish, then you open the tap to wash your hands. Good. Check for leaks in pipes, especially when they occur on your main water line. Yes, you have to check for the leaks and report so that they repair. And this will lead to conservation of water. You will not waste water. Good. Now, the next one is harvesting rainwater. Harvesting rainwater. Let's look at the school children with their teacher. They have polytank. The water, when it rains, the water will pass through the pipe hole and get into the polytank. And they can use it to do other things. Can use it for so many things in the school without opening the, their tap. So this can also serve as water for their use. So harvesting rainwater. You can use it in your various houses to flush your, your toilets, clean plates, even to bath. So harvesting rain water good storing water in containers storing water in containers the containers must be covered the containers must be covered and we can see on our screen it has cover so by opening the tap every day every minute every hour you can store the water in your containers when you want to use, you go and use it, open it, and then you use it. If you open your tap every minute, every hour, every second, your meter runs. And at the end of the month, you will see that your bill is high, very high. So you can put, store water in containers and make sure the containers are covered good so we have come to the end of our lesson now the summary of our lesson the topic ways of conserving water ways of conserving water for this first one we look at the qualities of good drinking water qualities on good drinking water we said the water that you drink should be colorless, should be odorless, should be tasteless, and should be free from harmful particles. Now we talked about the uses of water. We drink water, we use water to wash our clothes, to wash our plates for cleaning and others. And we talked about activities that waste water. Leaving the tap on, brushing the teeth, leaving the tap on, washing your hands, licking the pipe, and others. And then the last one, ways of conserving water. Ways of conserving water. We close the tap whilst cleaning our hands. Whilst we, when we see licking taps, we report and others. We talked about so many things. So these are the summary of our lesson. Ways of conserving water. Now we are coming to test ourselves on ways of conserving water. Ways of conserving water. And the first question says, The collection of rainwater for use is called The collection of rainwater for use is called rain collection, rain digging, and rain harvesting. Which one is the answer? Uh -huh. R rain harvesting. Rain harvesting. Good. Second question. The process of making water clean using filter is called the process 
of making water clean using filters is called purification, harvesting, conservation. Which one is the answer? Uh -huh. Yes, purification. purification. So the process of making water clean using filters is called purification. Purification. Third question. Third question. What usually uses more water in the home? What usually uses more water in the home? Is it drinking water, washing clothes, brushing your teeth? Mm -hmm. And definitely it's using washing clothes. Washing clothes. When you wash your clothes, we use much more water. We use more water to wash our clothes. And the ne next one is, when is the best time of the day to water your plant? When is the best time of the day to water your plant? Is it all day long? Early morning or late evening? In the afternoon? In the afternoon. Which one is the answer? Which one? Yes. Early in the morning or late in the evening? Late in the evening. Good. Now the weather that time... The water is down. The water is very warm. Good. Number five. Keeping the water running. When you brush your teeth, waste a lot of water. Keeping the water running. When you brush your teeth, waste a lot of water. Is it true or false? Mm -hmm. It's true. So when you keep your water running, when you brush your teeth, it wastes a lot of water. It is true. Good. Now we have come to the end of our lesson. Now before we go home, now copy this homework in your book. Number one, state three qualities of good drinking water. State three qualities of good drinking water. And two, give three activities that contribute to what wastage of water. Give three activities that contribute to wastage of water. And number three, state three ways of conserving water. State three ways of conserving water. I'll give you some minutes to copy this homework.
the homework. Hope to see you sit down and learn, solve the questions, and we shall meet again. Until then, bye-bye. This is Elf Learning with Shapes and Colors. What color do you see? What shape do you see? Here we go. Yellow. 